Hello and welcome back to Vinnie Bourne Training Centre. Today we're going to be painting some plastics and we're using our Bar Primo Multi Lac paint. It's a water based paint. It's available in a wide range of different colours. It comes in gloss, satin and matte finish um, and it has direct adhesion to plastics amongst other things. Um, some of the items we're going to use in this project we're going to use some scotch for abrasing the surface, gloves obviously for safety, um, a plastics degreaser. So this, this degreaser is designed for plastic, so it's not going to dissolve the plastic or damage it in any way. It'll clean it without damaging the surface and that's what we want. This paint can be applied by spray gun, by roller or brush. Um, we're going to be using the spray on the QTEC 5 to apply this product. After a bit of masking here, I'm going to clean the surface, so I'm going to use this plastic degreaser just to remove any grime or dirt that's on the surface. As I say, it is plastic, it's designed that it won't damage the plastic, it won't dissolve it in any way. I always recommend that you degrease it first before you move on to the sanding, the abrasive part of it. Just in case there's any grease or grime or dirt that's on it, and you may just push it deep into the actual substrate. I've uh, quickly degreased the area. I've masked off the face of the clock. Um, always make sure with liquids to uh, put the cap back on. For two reasons. One, you don't want contamination falling into the container. And the second reason, with solvents, they'll just evaporate. So that can cause issues. So I'm going to use a grey scotch pad. I say it's a fine, so I can abrase the surface and eventually when we get around to the spray paint or the paint in the end of it, um, it won't leave any paper marks so we won't be able to see any scratches in the surface. Today we're going to be using a spray gun to spray these two items. This paint multi-lac can also be applied by, by roller and by paintbrush. Just a good quality paintbrush, you'll notice it's got a very fine bristle on the end of it, almost like split ends. That'll give you a lovely finish so it melts away brush marks. We're going to be using a tack cloth. Um, okay, so now we're going to start abrasing the surface. Okay, we've degreased the surface, we've sanded the surface with a scotch, degreased it again. Um, so we're, we're ready at this stage to move on to the spray painting end. I just want to mention that I would always use a tack cloth just before we start painting because when you move things around or whatever, you're going to get dust or dust landing on the surface. So we use a tack cloth. What it is, is basically a cloth that's impregnated with glue. It's designed just to pull off any little loose fibers or items that may have landed on the surface.
We've given this one full coat. You can see it's quite well covered. We always give items two coats. So I always recommend two coats. But you can see here, this clock, it has a, a black background. And you can see with one coat on it, you can still see the black coming through. So be very mindful when you're choosing colors. If you're painting something with a dark surface, you may need a budget for more paint because you're going to need to give it additional coats. Maybe three to four coats, depending on the background. Obviously, you can see something here which has a white background on it. Um, you know two coats is just going to completely cover that. It's going to be fine. So just be mindful of colors that you pick. If you have any further questions, please contact an advisor at vinnieborn.com or alternatively email sales at vinnieborn.com.